Hello everyone, as you can see, this is a different video than I usually do because today I got the Oculus Quest 2 and I'm actually very excited to get this because I can play all sorts of games like Beat Saber, some Star Wars games, The Climb 2, Jurassic World, Horizon, Population 1, and yeah, a lot more. Uh, I don't know if the Oculus Quest 2 comes with these games, it probably doesn't, but still, I'm glad to have the Oculus. Anyways, as you can see, this is the front, the top, the sides are just one end, and the back is the, is the games. Alright, so as you can see here, there is a pull tab right here, that we can just peel off, this is going to be satisfying. That is just satisfying. And I'm gonna do it for all the sides ASMR time. Hold on, let me bring this closer. I'm sorry, you couldn't really see that side. I'm gonna try to get this side as much as I can though. Alright, it's just tearing apart. We're just, we're just gonna tell her. Because it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put all of this plastic over here. Alright, so if we take, if we open this, we're just gonna take this off. Oculus. There is an Oculus logo. If we open this up. Whoa, that is cool. I don't know if there's anything in this part over here. I don't think so, really. Anyways, we have the control. These are weird, honestly. Like, they have a weird smell. I mean, they're pretty, they're brand new, though. As you can see, there is a button on the back, button on the side, and there is this, um, there is a button right here. It's the joystick, it also clicks in. And then there is a button right here, that is the X button, this is the Y button, and I think this is the menu button. Now on this side, we have some different buttons. We have, of course, the front one. Or the wait, I'm holding this wrong. Hold on. Oh, this is how it's told. See, there's this one. Hold on, I do not know what I'm doing. Yeah, so there's a side one, the back one. There, this one also clicks down the um, joystick. There is a B button. There is an A button, and there is a. I think this is to move s stuff. I'm not sure though. Now we have this box. I have no idea what's in this box. I'm guessing this is some cables. We're gonna open that. We have an Oculus logo. Uh, there is some cables in here. This is a USB Type C. I am pretty sure. Yeah. Wait, I I have one of these, but I guess I have another. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna this off as you can see bam I, I it's kind of does it's a very tangled mess right now but yeah you have this we're gonna put that to the side for another we have another oculus thing I guess I'm guessing this is some stickers and stuff oh these are guides never mind of course, you need to know how to use all this, which I'm probably going to need some of this. It's just basically clean, clean it. Here, if you want to, if you want to pause the video and read this, be my guest. Here it is, if the camera will focus. I don't know if it's focusing. Here, I'll go a little bit closer, though. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And then we have this big 
thing. Who's going to read all of this, though? I'm not reading that. I, I might read it when I get it out. But anyways, now we have the main thing, the Oculus. Alright. So here is the Oculus. It also comes with a glasses spacer, which I'm not going to need because I don't wear glasses, as you can see. So there is some packaging on the Oculus that we should probably take off. Like so. And yeah. We have this thing that goes over your head. I'm probably gonna need to take my headphones off really fast. But yeah, this goes there's also some things there's some lens things that gonna need to take off too. No liquid is saying. No liquid cleaners. You don't wanna there's probably a lens cleaner somewhere. But this just goes on like so. This is tight. Yeah, that's off though, obviously, because it's not paired. Uh, you can also, there's also some, like, adjustable straps. There's a, oh, this comes off. I thought that was a part of the Oculus, so this comes off like so. It's pretty simple. I'm doing this very weird for some reason. But yeah, there's a spot for your nose, obviously. Your I should probably not touch that. But anyways, yeah, that's the glasses. Uh, Alright, so if we move to the front, as you can tell, there's just... It says Oculus up here. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm going to put it to the camera. It says Oculus right there. But yeah, the front has a USB Type-C, obviously. We have cameras all over the front, probably to track your movement. Probably all types. There's also some volume buttons. Which don't work, cause uh, obviously, cause they're not going to. But yeah, if you, here I'm gonna adjust this. As you can tell, just super duper easy. This is too tight for me, so yeah, we're gonna loosen it. That is pretty good. You can kind of, there you go. It's fully on. I cannot see really anything in it right now because it's pitch black in here. I can see a little bit of light from because I have a very bright light over there and a bit of light is peering in probably because I don't have this adjusted. There's some foam. You're going to need foam if you're going to play this for like hours and hours, which I might do. I don't know. For the review, I was playing VR Hands version 2.5 on Roblox. At the time I started playing, I was at around 50%, and an hour and 30 minutes, or an hour and 15 minutes later, I was at 6%, which was pretty good for an hour of VR, because I had to, and it was wireless, so it wasn't plugged into my PC, so I had to, like, it had to, like, use the internet, and it had to use the PC, and it, and it had to get all the information to the Oculus, which is pretty impressive. So I like the battery life because I don't think I could I don't think I would play VR for like two hours straight without taking off anyways because you kind of need to like you need your head to your eyes to get like a little bit of like air for a little bit because it's kind of like very dark in there and your eyes will hurt after a bit, a bit because of the screen. Um, I like how easy the controllers are to use. Like, how the buttons, you, like, you can tap them just a little bit, and it will move your character a little bit. Like, they're uh, pressure triggers, so that means, like, you can press them a bit. It's like the PlayStation 1. If you had a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controller, you know what I'm talking about, where you press down. I think Xbox has it, too. But, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And the Oculus only uh, didn't really bother me. They have, um, and you might say, how did you not, like, hit anything? There is, um, there is this, uh, feature where, like, you can map around your room. And it's real. it's a really cool feature, because, like, you can, like, draw around your room. Like, where you want to go, and it will alert you if you go out of it. Like, it will, like, go, the, your, like, the walls will go red a bit. Like, it won't, like, scare you, like, like, an alarm, like, brr, brr. It won't make any noise, it will just say 
it would just be like, it's just a reminder, hey, you're gonna get out of the play space, you better, like, come back in, and I'll show you where to go. Which is pretty cool. It's really, it's really cool. You can pair the Oculus with your PC and play any VR game you want. Like, I'm pretty sure you can even play some Steam games. You can play Minecraft VR. I don't know about other titles, but I'm not gonna talk. You can definitely play Beat Saber, Jurassic World, some Star Wars games I saw on the Oculus app. And I also like, like, the home page. Like, there's, like, two homes. You can, you can, like, customize your actual home and you can have people visit it. And you can move stuff around in there if you're bored. And there's cameras on the front. So if you leave your play area, it will actually, like, the cameras will, like, just, like, it's it black and white because it wants to say battery. But you can, if you leave the play area, it will, like, tell you, hey, you might want to come back in. But you can also just, like, move around your room. Like, let's say you need some water really fast. You step outside the play area, you get that. Eat with your head, without taking your headset off, you'll know exactly where it is. It's, like, really, really cool. You can only really experience, like, what I'm talking about if you have the Oculus. The thing that sucks is you're going to have to be... 13 or have um, a parent or guardian um, be able to set it up because you need to be th at least 13 to have a Facebook account. You can make one if you're under 12. Like you can just put whatever age you want. But but yeah, <laughs> you just have to make a Facebook account. Keep in mind that if you don't want to make a Facebook account, don't buy the Oculus. It will not let you. It's the stupidest thing ever. A big shout out to my channel members. If you want to become a member, just go down below. It's right next to the, the subscribe button. Thank you so much.